We're going to do a quick review before your quiz. For this first example, I want to determine if each of the following are polynomials or not. If they are, I'm going to have you give the name of the polynomial. If not, explain why it is not a polynomial. A polynomial, recall, is a sum of one or more monomials. In order to have a monomial, you need to have a number or a variable or it can be a product, so multiplying numbers and variables together. The variables have to have positive whole number exponents. So you can have a zero as an exponent, you can have one, two, three, four, etc. For this first one, I have a negative number, but that's not a negative exponent on a variable. So this first one is a polynomial. Specifically, this polynomial is called a monomial. It's one term. On the next one, this is not a polynomial. And the reason is it has an exponent, a negative exponent on a variable. On 1C, this is a polynomial. And it is a monomial, there's one term. This is not a polynomial on D. If you have a monomial, it has to be a product of numbers and variables. And this is not a product, you're dividing by a variable. Okay, on the next one, I did divide, but I did not divide by a variable. So this is just like writing this as x squared plus one third times x. And one third is just a number and your numbers can be positive or negative. It's the exponents on the variables you need to worry about. So this is a polynomial. I have a plus in between them, so this has two terms. Two terms would make this a binomial. For example, two. Arrange the terms of each polynomial so the powers of y are in ascending. So ascending means going up. Descending would be going down. Okay, so we want it going up. So the one that doesn't have any y's at all would be the eight. So we'll start with the eight. And then the next least amount of y's on my exponents would be the y to the first. And then the next one, I have a y cubed and a y fifth. So this has fewer uh, y's in the exponents or fewer y's multiplied together. So this is going to be plus four y to the third. So powers means exponents. So we're putting this in order of least amount of exponent for the y into the highest exponent with y. My last one is then y to the fifth. 
The degree is your highest exponent, and that is 5. The degree of this is 5. On number 3, I want to find each sum or difference. Let's get my paper up. This is a minus, so I need to distribute this. So 4x squared plus 3x, the first one doesn't change. I'll have minus 6x squared. I have a minus minus, so that becomes plus 5x. Remember, you're distributing this to all of them. And then my last is going to be minus 2. Let's go ahead and collect our like terms. 4x squared minus 6x squared is negative 2x squared. 3x, 5x will give me 8x. And then there's only one number, so that's minus 2. For the second one, 3b, I am adding, so I can just ignore my parentheses. They just go away. 2w squared minus 3w squared gives me negative 1w squared. I'm not going to put the 1 there. I don't need it. If you want to put it there, it's not wrong. Collect your w, so 4w and 2w. So negative 4 plus 2 gives you minus 2w. And then lastly, I have a negative 12 and a plus 15, that'll give me a plus 3. On example 4, we're finding each product, so I want to multiply here. So this is 5x times x. Remember, you add your exponents. I have 1x times another x. That gives me 2x's multiplied there. That's x squared. So I have an x times an x, so that's x squared. And then 5x times minus 4 gives me negative 20x. For 4b, 12a squared times a to the fourth, I have two a's multiplied together here, and I have four a's multiplied together here. So I have a total of six a's multiplied together, so that's a to the sixth. You add your exponents. 12 times negative 2 gives you negative 24. a squared times a to the first gives me a to the third. I have a times a times a. On example 5, we're going to solve this. Distribute, so 8y minus 12 equals, distribute here, you get 9y minus 21. Let's get our y's on one side. I think I'm going to move the 8y. So I'm going to subtract 8y from both sides. Negative 12 equals, this will be 1y minus 21. And then I'm going to add 21 to both sides. Negative 12 plus 21 gives you 9. Let's check our answer for that. So I have on the left side 4 parenthesis 2 times 9 minus 3 and my parenthesis. Let me scoot that over. And that gives me 60. And then on the right side, I have 3, parenthesis, 3 times 9 minus 7. And that gives me 60 on the right side. So the left side equals the right side, so 9 does work. And example 6, I'll go ahead and work it, but I don't think it's on this quiz. It's on the next set of notes. 
Um, you can use a box method or foil. I think I'll go ahead and use the box method. So 3x plus 5, you can put that on one side. It doesn't matter which side you put it on. And then x minus 2 I'll put here. Multiply to get each box. So this is 3x squared. This is plus 5x. That's 5 times x. This box is negative 2 times the 3x. That gives you negative 6x. And this box you're multiplying the negative 2 and 5. So that gives you negative 10. So my final answer is 3x squared. These two boxes have like terms. I'm going to add those together. That gives me negative 1x and then minus 10.